Hi everybody, I just received the replay Fire Edition. Right, so that's the UE Play Fire Edition. And the UE Play is a MPE controller. MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. And that means that you can play more expressive than with your just basic regular MIDI controllers and MIDI keyboards. In the package you get the baseboard with a wooden body and a metal frame. And on this base plate you place uh, these different pads. And in the package there's a guitar pad, there's a, a keys pad, there's a drum pad and a piano pad with the bubble. And like you saw in the intro, these uh, different pads give you the ability to play the instrument uh, differently. And you heard me mention instrument and it definitely feels like uh, playing a different kind of instrument than your regular MIDI keyboards. And you hook up the UE Play via the USB-C port, but in the package there's a USB-C cable to a USB Type-A and a DIN port, a regular MIDI DIN port. So you can hook up the UE to your synths. I don't know if I pronounce UE correctly here, but the UE apparently means uh, play in French. So play play with the UE. Okay, so we mentioned MPE instrument or MIDI Polyphonic Expression instrument. To make full use of the UE Play or MPE compatible instruments, you obviously need the VST instruments or synths uh, that can handle MPE. To briefly explain how MPE works is uh, if we play a chord, say we play a C chord on the UE Play here, all these different notes, the C and E and the G, will be sent on a separate MIDI channel. So you can have individual note expression on each individual key. Some of the pads to the UE Play also have this bubble, nipple bubble. And if we take a look at the bundled UE software, we can see that uh, the bubble here can send different uh, MIDI data for the X, Y and Z axis. In the UE software you set up the different pads and the different areas of the pads to send different uh, controller change values and, uh, and basically set up this MIDI controller to work for your specific needs. Right, so big thanks to UE for sending me this demo version of the UE Play. Now finally some questions regarding the UE MPE controller. So is this a MIDI controller only or does it have sound? This is a pure uh, data controller, so you need to connect the UE to a computer or a mobile device to get sound. Does it work with plug-in instruments? Yes, there are many MPE compatible VST instruments uh, like Faceplant, which I used in some of the demos in the beginning of this video. And there's also many MPE compatible DAWs like Ableton Live, Logic Pro, GarageBand, Reaper, Cubase and Bitwig Studio. 
Now finally what are my own thoughts on the UE MPE controller. I feel it complements my regular MIDI keyboards because uh, you get more expression with this type of uh, MPE controllers. I especially like this uh, fretboard here because uh, it makes you think in a different way and play different scales and play different types of melodies than you typically do on a regular MIDI keyboard. Right, so like I said, it does require a little bit of practice before it starts to get natural and comfy. And sometimes it can be a little bit hard to set this up in different instruments, but likely there's a great tutorials online on how to set up different control change values to different parameters in the plugins. Okay, so finally, if you're interested to grab the UE MPE controller, you can use my affiliate link in the description to this video and you will get 15% off your purchase. Right, so thanks for today and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!